over here. They're supposed to be all the names. This happened in 2001. So we're at the Pentagon Memorial where Flight 77 crashed on 9-11-2001. The cantilevered bench and the pool represent one victim. This particular one is for Dana Falkenberg. Dana was three. My God. Dana was three years old. Born in 1998. There were 184 lives lost, 59 people on the plane, 125 on the ground. The benches have a pool under each one that are permanent. It's a permanent memorial. This, these memorials face the Pentagon. Those represent passengers on the plane. The benches that face away like those represent people that were in the Pentagon or on the ground out here outside the Pentagon when the plane struck. The youngest victim was three, and the oldest victim was 71. And if you look back there, I'll, I'm pointing to the concrete wall that's on the back side of this memorial. That's the tallest section. It goes to 71 inches, which represents the age of the oldest victim in inches per year. The youngest victim was Dana, Dana Falkenberg. She was three. And then John Yamnicki, 71, a Navy veteran. Both were aboard the flight. The trees are all crepe myrtle, and they're not specifically honoring any particular person. They're just here to provide shade they say this particular type of crepe myrtle grows to about 30 feet tall, so it'll provide great shade once these trees mature. The interesting thing about this, the Pentagon, and we're told not to take a picture of the Pentagon, so I'm not going to show it in the video, but you can still see the discolored stones or the different colored stones in the facade of the Pentagon where they repaired it and that's been 23 years ago almost 23 years ago so that's also a reminder of what happened here